Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your mystery love reading for 2020. All right, though you have somebody around you that's going to come in in 2020, and I'm doing this so you don't miss the connection. This could happen very suddenly uh, in the in a very bizarre way. Literally, you could turn around and you have you look at someone and there's this little spark. And most of the time when that happens, uh, you know, you walk away, you don't think anything more of it. And other times it happens and it's too late. You didn't react. You didn't say anything. You didn't make the connection. Okay, so this is the energy that I'm trying to pick up on here to see who this mystery person is towards you this year. All right, so you don't miss that connection or sabotage it. Also, before I forget, I'm going to be doing... Uh, some readings in the next couple days there it's kind of to go with these it's all about blockages what's blocking you from moving forward in love uh, it's like a little booster shot so you listen to that and you can see what's blocking you what not to do how to clear those blockages and move forward so you don't miss this connection okay this mystery person that you don't know uh, they may be in your energy already but i feel like you don't know them. You're completely unaware of it, all right? So you need to be aware of everything around you when you're out and about. Turn around in your chair once in a while. Take a look. See who's watching you, okay? Got to lose those fears about connecting with people. There's somebody out there for everyone. All right, Libra, who is your mystery love in 2020? Who is this person coming towards you? What are their intentions, and what do you need to know about this person this mystery love in 2020 for Libra. Slow and steady wins the race. Very interesting. All right. This is somebody who's around. and Or when they do come around, it's going to be slow. All right. This is someone who wants to do things the right way. Probably some earth energy. Okay. Yeah. Someone's thinking about coming towards you. Yeah. Their spirit has a plan here. That's, uh, I like that. Somebody could be taking their time as well, planning, feeling very spiritual about this, that there's a spiritual connection with you when they see you. They're going to approach you very slowly, be very careful what they say because they want to do it right, okay? So they're going to take a long time to plan this, so you might not even know what's going on behind the scenes. Libra, yes, you can see clearly now. This person wants to make sure they're clear. They may be wanting to make sure... Uh, their energy is clear. They also may want to make sure that they're, you know, you don't have anyone, you're not married, okay? It's that kind of energy before they approach. They want to make sure the coast is clear, <laughs> all right? Yeah, because they're, they're going to come around you and be, you know, keeping an eye on you and learning about you, that kind of thing. Very interesting. All right, here we go. Spirit's pulling you together. Someone's feeling spiritually driven, uh, planning this slow and steady pace towards you. Very nice. They know they have to say everything just right, too, because they want to make sure whatever they say is very clear as well. All right, Libra, who is your mystery love in 2020? Who is this person, and what do you need no to know about this person? What are their intentions? in love towards you this mystery love in 2020 what does libra need to know ah seven of swords yeah somebody's learning about you they're trying to figure you out they're taking their time watching you keeping an eye on you yes moving very slow remember don't try to read this i'm reading this exactly as I'm asking the questions. So don't try to read the cards and comment and tell me, oh no, it's my ex, because you don't know. Uh, there's millions of earth signs, billions of them in the world, right? You, you couldn't know. Yeah, so look at that. This is going to happen quite suddenly. Somebody is uh, planning, and when they do come in, it's going to be a big shock and a big surprise. Yes, they're going to make you an offer, but they're watching, paying attention to the details to make sure that uh, everything is clear, the coast is clear, that you don't have somebody, you're not married, okay? Yes, yeah, see, look at that. They want to make sure you're not married or in a commitment. They could be a Taurus, okay? Yes, look at that. They're going to come in. It's going to come in rather blunt, rather quick, maybe playful, and it's going to totally floor you. 
okay? But they need to figure you out first. They really need to, they're up in their head. Uh, they're putting a lot of mental work in this, but what to say, how to approach, watching you, uh, slowly planning how they're going to approach you, but they need to know if you're married. I feel like that's the biggest thing. So this person might be, they are a commitment kind of person. I do feel they're very practical and grounded, and that's why they're taking their time. That's why they're doing what they do. Yeah, they. this is somebody who... Uh, they want to this person wants to work on this okay they're coming in all playful lively and light and uh, they want to work on this situation this could be somebody that you worked with a long time ago or you may hire them to do some work on your house and something will happen whatever it is <laughs> that's how it's going to be yes 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 three more cards here all right Libra, who is this person coming towards you? There we go. Ah, this person's a little stressed. They're worried that you're married, and that's why they're taking a long time. They're worried that you're in a commitment. Okay, they're a little bit worried, too, if you have the same beliefs and traditions. So if you, um, your religion is very important, or theirs is, there might be a little bit of concern with that. But they're going to keep working on this, and they're building up the momentum and the courage to come. They just really want to make sure the coast is clear okay uh, they yeah they this person may have actually gone through um, a, a divorce recently or something like that they've gone through the school of higher learning this person's learned from their mistakes as well okay this is somebody who's moving away from something somebody may have played them while they were married they have a lot of sadness and a lot of grief still but they're moving forward okay I kind of feel like you're, I do feel there's some worry about traditions and religion, whether you have the same beliefs, maybe the same spiritual beliefs, but it's going to happen regardless. They are eventually going to communicate rather bluntly and quickly. They may just ask you, hey, are you married? Are you in a commitment? What's your religion? Uh, you know, that kind. Of, it's important to some people and cultures, right? So yeah, this person's, uh, they want to team up. I feel like you might have worked with this person before. I do. I feel like you may have worked together a long time ago. It's going to be a shocker, I'll tell you that. Three of Pentacles. Yes, but there is a connection. Yes, they want to work on this. There's a spiritual connection between you. Uh, some kind of bond. They want to come together with you. This is somebody who wants that. They want a teamwork. They do want commitment. They do want marriage. But they're concerned you may be committed to somebody else and it kind of worries them because they really like you and they feel very drawn to you so they're trying to figure the whole situation out and learn about it they're worried you're going to get away okay they're worried that they're going to lose an opportunity and it's telling you to make sure you figure this out pay attention to who's around you who's moving towards you all right it's telling you you need to figure this out too and you're, you may have an epiphany and all of a sudden realize that uh, you may have missed a connection in the past with this person and here they are again okay yes somebody very special i do feel like you probably have the same spiritual beliefs but there's a little bit of stress and worry about that somebody's carrying a little bit of um, sadness due to i feel it's some kind of a divorce or a really big worry to do with religion and spirituality that kind of thing. Tell me about this turtle spirit. Tell me about this turtle spirit. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. There's a little bit of confusion. This person sees everything abundant around you, and they are a little bit confused how to approach you. Okay. Yeah, and I think they're moving slowly because you they may think you have a lot of other options and they're trying to or they're trying to figure out if you do before they move forward. So yeah, this is somebody who's loved up. Uh, they're ready for a connection. They want a mental and emotional connection. They want the whole package. That's their plan. That's what they want. They, When you meet this person, I do feel like, to be honest in this one, that you've met this person and missed a connection because I think you're going to have an epiphany when you meet them again at who this person is, okay? And you are going to feel this connection. This person is definitely uh, mature and ready for love, okay? They're going to offer you this cup, but they really, they're planning how to go about it, what to do, what to say, okay? 
Tell me about the owl spirit. What's going on with the owl spirit? Ah, yeah. So they kind of feel like there's not a lot of hope. They can't seem to get a clear picture of what's going on with you. Uh, they're definitely around your energy, Libra. And they feel like there's no hope getting a clear picture. They're really kind of, they want to make sure they say and do the right thing. They, and it could be because of a religion, um, that sort of thing, okay, or their spiritual beliefs. Yes. But yeah, they don't want to approach you if you're married, I'll tell you. They don't want to kind of do that. I don't know why they're so worried about it. Yeah, this person, they've definitely want something they're trying to figure out if you're stable if you're in a commitment yeah that's what it is there so they are worried but you've met this person i really feel like you met them possibly a long time ago you may not have even clued into it but when they do come big surprise oh yes libra tell me about the tower ah sacrifice yeah so you missed a connection with this person in the past you uh, didn't recognize it. You didn't see it, but you're gonna, you're really gonna get it. So it's telling you to pay attention this time, when somebody comes forward, to uh, see the see the whole picture. You will see clearly who this person is. Okay, they feel like there's no hope though because they can't seem to get a clear picture if you're married or single or what the heck. Yeah. Yeah, they will. They want to communicate with you, right? And they may, they will eventually start to communicate. Uh, they may uh, try and get, maybe get you on social media via the internet, something like that, to just ask you if you're with anyone. Are you married? Are you committed? We have a Taurus energy. They very well could be Taurus. We got Gemini. We got Aries. Leo Sagittarius energy. And of course, Earth sign energy. Yes, they're going to ask if you're married or if you're committed to anyone. They may ask you what your spiritual beliefs are and things like that, if it's important to them. Yes, uh, they're going to do this in a very practical way so it doesn't seem sketchy because they know they need to, they got to be careful what they say, right? They, they have to be a little sneaky about how they find out, <laughs> All right? They ask you this. This person doesn't want to be obvious. I feel like maybe they're afraid of rejection. They're a little bit worried about uh, the Nine of Swords could be like that too. They're really worried about, you know, saying anything to you. So they're going to do it in a really aloof and roundabout way. <laughs> Tell me about the Page of Wands. What's going on with the Page of Wands? That's so cool. What's this Page of Wands energy about? Why is this here? Uh, yes, they want to know. They're eventually just going to bluntly ask you. Are you married? Are you in a commitment? Are you living with anyone? Uh, they may even ask you where you live, what religion you are. This is a house. It could be a, a religious building, that kind of thing. They're just going to ask. Uh, then they're going to work, but they're going to work on this. This person's willing to work on this connection. So I do think they want to build something with you. They want to come together, most definitely. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What's going on with the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, they really want to know some things. I think they mostly want to know if you're married or committed or any kind of... Look at that. Yeah, they want to work towards... Um, wow, look at that. A commitment with you. This person wants to build something. Uh, they're very committed to building something with you. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, they... I almost feel like... This person's working on their spiritual beliefs, uh, their religion. They could be working on a home as well, um, which they traditionally do. They could be a builder for that matter. Uh, they may not be as spiritual as this is, but I'm feeling this is somebody where they don't want to even approach somebody who's married for some reason. A little bit worried about that. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's going on? Here we are. Where did that go now? There it is. Yes, they're going to stop investing in this. Yeah, they're not going to invest in this anymore. Yeah, they won't invest. Uh, they're going to be patient, though, and I think you're going to need to be patient with this person. They are a little stressy uh, to do with uh, relationships, marriage, commitment, maybe as well, okay? But they're so drawn to you. 
Yeah. And that's another thing. They will not, if you, if you are married or with somebody else or there's anyone else in the picture, uh, not only them, but you will not go for this. So it's both of you are probably a little bit concerned, but I, I don't think this person is. I really don't. I think they're more worried about you. So they're being patient trying to find out, but they're stressing out because they're worried you're going to get away uh, for some reason. Very worried. They want something stable and committed. They're really trying to figure out what's going on. But yeah, look at that. You're single. They're single. This is nice. Yeah. They really hold you in high regard. They that you've got everything this person wants. So uh, there's a lot of a lot of uh, abundance in this connection here. They see that, but they want to know if you have other options too, not just marriage and commitments. They want to know if you're seeing anybody, or they don't want to get involved in something. I think here they're worried about getting involved in something. They don't want to be that other person. Okay, they don't want to be. Uh, the Empress when she's the other woman kind of energy, right? So, yeah, they, they don't want to invest in that. This person holds themselves in high regard as well. And they, they actually see that you do, okay? Uh, they just, oh, yeah, they really think you're something. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. I think they have a hard time believing that you're not committed or married because you're very attractive. You have so much going on, okay? Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What's going on with the Three of Pentacles? Well, some people just are very independent, too. And they're, they're going to see that. You're very independent. You look out for yourself. You look wonderful. Yeah. So this person's waiting for the opportunity to connect with you. Uh, they're waiting for all the information, everything they need. Uh, I feel now that you've had this reading, Libra, you're going to be waiting for this person to approach you. But I think you've been holding on to this for a bit. Um, I actually feel like this person's been kind of looking into the future, wondering what they see as far as um, connections, marriages, coming together, teamwork. I think they're kind of looking out there to see what's out there, but they're kind of okay where they're at. They're quite comfortable, uh, very independent as well. Okay, or they or this is you that way. Very nice. Tell me about the lovers. This is a nice, clear reading. So somebody's definitely very concerned whether you've got options or they don't want to be an option too. I feel like this person's worried. They don't want to end up in a situation where they're an option because you've maybe got this. They watch you. They've been kind of around you. Uh, moving towards you slowly, thinking about what to say, what to do, right? To offer you that cup. They, <laughs> I, I feel like because you've got this attitude and you look good and you, you know, you got it all going on. I feel that they, they just can't un believe that you're not with somebody. And I think that's what the deal is. Yeah. Tell me about the lovers. What's going on with the lovers? Well, I feel, Libra, that you're very much, uh, you may have some fire in your chart here. But it doesn't have to be. I'm seeing a fair bit of fire in this reading. With the Aries, Gemini. I always see the lovers as Aries and Gemini. Oh. Just because when they connect together, they usually build each other up. But uh, you may have a choice. Or this person may have a choice and they may be trying to decide between you and someone else. But I think they're waiting for answers. They're waiting to see if you're with anyone. All right. This is they're willing to cooperate, too. I feel they're just waiting to find out some things before they move. They just and, and mostly, yeah, they really they're willing to cooperate with you like they're they just but they want to know first what's going on if it comes with religion spirituality they're all i think they're good to cooperate on that but uh, they don't want to connect with somebody and be an option so six of lovers there we go yeah so they're going to walk away from one person i feel um you may walk away from somebody to connect with this person because you see them as a Ten of Cups, but I think it's them. They're walking away from one and coming towards you, so they could be getting a divorce, uh, no longer wanting to work on their relationship uh, or their traditional beliefs and behaviors. They may be walking away from relig a religion or a belief. Um, they could be their own tr beliefs and traditions, how they conduct themselves 
in relationships too. They may be working on that, ready to leave that behind and come and get that Ten of Cups with you. But it looks like they're leaving a marriage or a commitment uh, or they've walked away from one possibly themselves. Uh, and you may as well, Libra. You may have somebody where you're going to walk away from someone and come. Look at that. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. There's the offer. Getting closer to the Ten of Cups. Yeah, well, this person wants to do the right thing. I think that's the thing. Okay, so they're trying to be careful. There you are. Yeah, you've got to do a lot of thinking about this. You're going to ask a lot of questions, but I think you have a strategy here as well. I, I This energy does kind of flip-flop back and forth. <laughs> Very interesting. So once you connect, it's going to be, oh yeah, I remember this person. Don't sacrifice them. Be careful. I think you did in the past, or maybe they did you. Maybe you tried to connect with them a long time ago and nothing happened. It just went unacknowledged and then somebody took their energy elsewhere. Uh, there was, right, there wasn't enough uh, communication back and forth. There was nothing. Uh, you may have bumped in and went, oh, hi, or excuse me at a door, but there was that look, that thing. And that's how it happens, right? You have to acknowledge it. I think you're seeing clearly i feel like this is you seeing things clearly you want to make sure you see this person clearly when they come towards you you're also a little bit concerned here very much up in your head trying to learn everything you can about this person before they come because they are i do feel that uh, earth energy that taurus um virgo capricorn energy very strong Taurus in this reading. And look at that Taurus Libra uh, abundance between the two of you. You're both single. You're both ready to invest, but you're both stressed out. You're both a bit worried. Um, you know, it's like that sometimes if you're older, especially. So I think you're going to be very discerning before you hit that Ten of Cups. But you're, you want to get clarity before you offer a cup or if this is them. They may have air in their chart as well, uh, because I do see Gemini here, okay? So they may be a Gemini Taurus. They may be uh, plain old Gemini, maybe even an Aquarius. Yeah, I do see them. I do see this person a little bit worried. So they want to make sure they got all the facts straight and they're very clear. Uh, they, they know exactly what's going on before they offer that last that highest emotional fulfillment and tell you how they feel about you but it's right up here it's their intentions and their their plan is to uh, have this beginning in love to connect with you in a very emotional way uh, it's mental and emotional that's why i say i feel like you got uh, both have water you both got air maybe even some fire in your charts uh, there's definitely a very spiritual connection between you it's going to be a very healing connection very grounded uh, full of abundance uh, somebody's a little bit of a, a loner here that likes to stay single. They hold themselves in high regard. They're empress energy. They're waiting for that right person. Uh, a little bit stressed about inve investing in anyone because they're worried their investment's not going to pay off. You know, it's. I do feel like it's mostly you, all right, Libra, that has this energy, but they may have it as well because it joins on a corner. It's both of you a little bit. But you are going to come together. I do think you're going to make sure you got all the facts before you offer that cup, uh, which is going to lead things on this journey. So this is really interesting. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yes. Want to make sure there's nobody else involved. You're willing to cooperate and compromise. There's teamwork. This is very spiritual. I feel like this is two people coming together to form one unit. Okay. Like this. Libra Taurus energy. Two people who are pretty much exactly the same. So I love this reading. This is great. Let's see what the outcome of this is. What is the outcome of this situation for Libra and this mystery lover that is going to be around you in 2020? Watching you from the sidelines, slowly moving towards you, making sure you don't have any options. They don't want to be an option, but they, they're coming towards you because they see the abundance. They see the possibilities, uh, everything, the abundance. Look at that between the two of you. So it's lovely. Yes, bone collector. Yeah, somebody's collecting information about you, Libra. And it's going to be you too. I, I feel like it's both of you are going to be 
both of you are going to be collecting info, examining all the details before you come together and, and form that unit, right? Uh, and cooperate and team up. Beautiful. Bone collector. Gathering up all the info, putting all the pieces together till you got all the facts you need to move forward. Or they do. And I feel it's them there. I think Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What do we have there? Yeah. They definitely have uh, some water going on. Quite a bit of water here. Yeah, coming to life. So look at that. Somebody's finding out everything they need. And once they get all the pieces and everything they know, that you're not married, uh, that you're not a player, that you're not this and that, whatever, they are going to put all the pieces together. There's going to be some smiles. Look at that. I pieced it all together. Look at all those bones. <laughs> it's lovely. And uh, coming to life. And then they're going to come to life. That couldn't be uh, more amazing right there, those two. I'm leaving it at that because that's just a perfect place to end to this. Uh, there's going to be uh, a whole new life here for the two of you when you come together. Oh, I did it. I picked it up and it went Golden Palace. Yeah, you're both on the same path. You're probably going to end up married, living together. Uh, the, the path forward is just gold. I feel the two of you coming together are just going to leave a trail of uh, abundance. Beautiful. All right. Wow, your reading is a little bit slow or a little bit short. Uh, it's like that sometimes. It's clear. It's all here, right? And that's the thing. This is very clear reading. So it's very spirit. This is very spiritually guided reading. So enjoy, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And keep your eyes open for this person. Don't miss that moment when you connect where they look at you or you turn around and they're behind you. Okay, don't don't miss it because it's that opportunity. Spirit's going to bring you together. It's going to be like bang. All right. Bye for now, everybody. I wish you the best. Don't forget to comment away. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.